Welcome back everybody, Brawlbent here. Today I've got a rather different video for you guys. So today we're going to be covering my top 10 features that I can see realistically being added to the forest. Now these features aren't anything like a shovel or a new boss mob. These are very realistic features that I can see being added. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Number 1. Hold E to auto place. This would be very useful in situations such as building structures that require many of the same item, such as the leaf trap, the stick holder, the rock holder, or even the chair. All of these require you to rapidly tap E or C to place things into the blueprints. It would drastically improve the building time and tedious tasks such as adding and removing sticks or rocks from their holders, while also relieving the players from cramp from spamming buttons. The way this would work is very simple. First of all, the buttons would still work as normal. However, if you press and hold them, one to two seconds after, it will automatically place your resources one by one. Number two, scroll to adjust the blueprint distance. Second on the list is the ability to adjust the blueprint's distance via the scroll wheel. This would make the placing of blueprints much easier in smaller spaces. This should work the exact same as the program MC Edit does, except it should stop at a reasonable distance. I have needed this feature so many times in the past, for example when I'm stood on platforms and need to place a light or fire. Number 3. Reposition Blueprints The third feature on this list is the freedom to adjust placed blueprints. This would save the players hours of positioning, placing and then deleting over and over. Have you ever attempted to make a large custom structure just to find out that the middle point is too far out or just not in the right place? You have to replace all of the other points just to get it wrong in a different way. If you could look at a corner point in a blueprint and pick it up so to speak, and then place it down in another spot, it would save us a lot of time, also making our builds look better. Number 4. More life in villagers. This fourth one, I cannot stress how important this is to the developers. Do you ever wonder where the cannibals come from, where they go at night, where they are in the day? Well, they're supposed to be here, in this village. I don't see any cannibals, do you? These villages belong to the cannibals, but they're never here. The villagers desperately need an overhaul to make them seem busy and full of life. There should be fires lit at night with dances and drums getting louder and louder as you get near. I've made a quick demonstrational video to show you what this could be like, so just take a look. Number 5, a dismantling tool. Decorative objects such as Timmy drawings, wall weapon holders and rabbit fur once placed cannot be removed unless you destroy your entire base. Also, have you noticed that the current method of tearing down a structure or any player built item is so overkill? For example, a table, you literally have to hit it 20 times with a katana to remove it. That makes no sense. This is where a dismantling tool would come into play. A dismantling tool could be used to remove any structure and recover some of the materials. Imagine if you were to take apart log sleds and get 50% of those sticks back, or a wall and get two logs back. It makes sense rather than smashing them into pieces. But Broadbent, that means adding an entirely new collectible weapon to the game. Wrong. Every player in the game already has a dismantling tool and it's on the back of the plane axe. The tool is already there, you just need to make it work. Number 6, Universal Storage. For years, players of open world games have loved hoarding, but in the forest, you are very limited when it comes to storage. Items such as alcohol, circuit boards, old pots, flares, ropes, and many more cannot be stored. I suggest that a universal storage device, such as a chest, should be added. This would make the gathering of resources much easier as we would not have to take a trip to get more alcohol every in-game day. Number 7, Signs. Now this next one may seem rather far-fetched and not needed, but do listen through. The players should be given the ability to add paintable text to the world. This would be very useful for navigation, labelling bases, directions on paths, and much much more such as naming rooms in your base. The tools are already there in the world. For example, in both locations for the modern axe, you can see both a paint bucket and a paintbrush. You can pick up the paintbrush and examine it, but nothing happens. The player can also craft themselves paint, so it's easy to get. 
Number 8, more plane wreckage. Do you remember the introduction cutscene? It was really immersive, right? You could see the planes skidding all over the ground, bits flying everywhere, people falling off their seats. It would be really cool if the dirt behind the plane was dragged up, as if the plane was actually skidding. It currently looks like the plane was just carefully placed down. Also, imagine that you're diving deep in the ocean, and you find a segment of the plane on the ocean floor. Or maybe the plane wings. Could there be some more loot? Number 9. Item randomization in caves. When you're wandering about in caves, do you ever get bored of finding the same items over and over in the same old locations? Me too, and it can easily be abused. By simply adding a randomization to the item's locations, or even the items themselves, would make this game a lot harder. Number 10, item replenishing delay in caves. The last item on this list is almost just an addition to the previous one, but would change the game for the better. Imagine having a respawn delay on items in caves, just like fish have a respawn delay of two in-game days. You would have to go elsewhere to find more alcohol, or venture deeper into caves to find more dynamite, rather than just re-entering a cave and magically all the items are back again. Alright everyone, thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed my top 10 list of realistic features that I can see being added to the forest. If you agree with any of the points that I've made in this video, make sure you leave a like on the video to show your support for the channel. I'm going to round this episode up here, thank you for watching everyone, and I'll catch you in the next video.